Ecstasy came into this world as 3,4-methylene-dioxymethamphetamine, or MDMA for short. It didn't exist in nature until chemists, working for the German pharmaceutical company Merck, synthesized it by accident in their laboratories in 1912. No use for the new molecule was discovered, and MDMA remained little more than a formula on faded paper for more than 60 years. It was the scientific quest of this man, Alexander Shulgin, that rescued MDMA from obscurity. I've always been interested in psychopharmacology. How much could I use my skill at creating new compounds that are psychoactive? How many could I make that would be different? In 1966, Shulgin quit his job as a chemist for Dow Chemical to devote himself entirely to the study of psychoactive drugs, drugs that alter the mind. What I'm searching for are materials that could open up ways of understanding how the mind works. And each of these materials was a tool, a research tool, with the different colors and different shades and opening up different parts of the mind. MDMA is one of these. In 1976, in his laboratory near Berkeley, California, Shulgin synthesized MDMA, which was not illegal at the time, and tested it on himself. I saw it as almost like an intoxicant. I could see where I could have gotten really into the, into the knack of using it, except my, my search was not being pleasurably turned on. My search was finding new things. Shogun called it window because he thought this was like looking through a window of the world at the world the way it really is, that we have covered over by our habits and so on. And as we remove those barriers, we see it in utter clarity. And that's what MDMA does. It melts, dissolves away those barriers. We see the world as it really is. It's a marvelous experience. I highly recommend it. MDMA is one of hundreds of mind-altering compounds that Shulgin has synthesized and tested. In books and papers, he has published the formulas and the effects of each. His critics argue that Shulgin is simply providing a roadmap for drug abuse. I believe that every single thing that is known about a drug, good and bad, should be available to everyone who's considering using that drug. 